The last laptop I bought was back in 2019, a maxed out workhorse of a machine that I could use while traveling. Unfortunately though, I didn't do a whole lot of traveling in 2020 for some reason, but it has been a while and it's time for a new laptop since I do do a lot of work from a computer. Lenovo has sent over their latest Generation 7 Yoga Slim 7i Carbon with internal carbon fiber and magnesium. That special blend getting the weight of this laptop to just 960 grams, which makes it one of the world's lightest laptops, even lighter than the MacBook Air. But like I always say, it's impossible to truly appreciate the beauty on the outside without first analyzing the inside. I think it's time for a teardown. Let's get started. Now, at first glance, we don't see any carbon fiber on the exterior of the Yoga Slim 7i Carbon. The exterior is the metal magnesium alloy. And while magnesium is the lightest of the structural metals, it's not as light as carbon fiber which hopefully we'll find in a second as we dive deeper. There is a webcam kill switch, power button, and USB-C port here on the right side. On the other side, near the Lenovo logo, we have the Thunderbolt 4 connector for super fast 40 gigabit per second bi-directional data transfers. And this port also includes the USB-C form factor for charging, which is incredibly useful since a phone charger can now double as a laptop charger. We'll get to that more in a second. I'll do some desktop cleanup and it looks like we're working with the 12th generation Intel Core i7 with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a touchscreen. Kind of cool. But like I said earlier, it's more fun to see hardware instead of read about it. The bottom metal plate of the Lenovo Slim 7i Carbon is held in place by 65 screws. And I'm like 92% sure I told Lenovo I'd be taking this apart. So hopefully this void sticker doesn't matter too much. Along with the screws, there's a series of clasps securing the panel, which when finally unclipped give us full view and access to the internals, which at first glance are refreshingly modular. However, with regards to our quest to find carbon, we are still searching. For the entire bottom panel, at least, is the metal magnesium alloy on both sides. Let's remove the battery. This guy's 48.5 watt hours, which is about the equivalent of four iPhone 14 batteries and there are five Phillips head screws holding down the plastic bracket that the batteries adhere to. The 6,290 milliamp hours give the carbon laptop up to 13 hours of battery life and the ability to get four hours of usage with just 30 minutes of charging. And coincidentally, it looks like the battery itself has four cells inside. Underneath the modular battery, we have the modular trackpad and it looks like a modular expandable M.2 SSD slot. It's super refreshing to see off the shelf consumer replaceable hard drives. This guy is one terabyte, so plenty sufficient storage space for now, but a few years down the road, you never know. It's good to know the hard drive is upgradable. The next thing that needs to be removed in our search for carbon fiber is the cooling system with three screws holding down the slim fan, which also doubles as some cable management for latch style ribbon cables. It's very similar to the tiny fans we see inside of the Red Magic phone. Personally, I'm not gonna count the blades, but if someone else wants to pause the video and let us know down in the comments, that would be awesome. Thanks in advance. I'm still not seeing any carbon fiber. However, I do see a blacked out heat pipe. The whole matte black layout is enticingly aesthetic for something that not many people get to see, unless you're subscribed to my channel, of course. With the four screws removed that were holding down the CPU cooler, we can see that it is indeed made from copper. The fan pushes air through the fins on the end of the snaky looking tube to help keep that processor cool. The processor, which is the 12th generation Intel Core i7 that we saw earlier when the computer was turned on, is soldered to the main board. This guy gives us 32% faster real world productivity with three times faster photo and video editing when compared to an average two year old laptop. The processor is not removable like we see on desktop computers, but that's pretty normal on laptops. They're built more like smartphones for better portability. To get the motherboard out, we can remove a few more Phillips head screws, detach the wire cables from the modular Wi-Fi 6 slot, which has three times the transmission rate of Wi-Fi 5, which probably won't matter too much to the people who come to the internet just for memes, but Wi-Fi 6 is a huge deal when it comes to moving large files quickly. With the motherboard disconnected, we can see a large copper shield on the back, just loosely protecting the back side of the motherboard, 
nothing too crazy. I did think it was cool though, that each of the dual stereo speakers have three blue vibration isolating rubber bushings installed. Kinda nifty. There's another large black sticker under the motherboard, which separates the electronics from the back side of the keypad. But so far, there's still no carbon fiber. Everything we've seen so far is made from the magnesium alloy. Which is great, that's still super lightweight, but with the word carbon in the literal name of the laptop, it has to be around here somewhere. The only place left to check is behind the screen. And this is where things get dangerous. Laptop screens are not normally very replaceable. The back side of the Yoga Slim 7i Carbon does have a few simple screws holding the screen hinge to the keyboard portion, but since our hinge is fine, we just need the panel to come out, and we can get away with just popping off the bezel. No screws this time around, so I'll add some heat, since it's most likely only adhesive holding everything in place. I fully anticipate that this laptop is living out its final minutes, since displays are usually the most fragile thing inside of laptops, just like on smartphones. But with how modular everything else is inside of this Yoga Carbon, I can always hope. With some of my plastic pry tools underneath the back panel, and a few extra flashes of heat, I can tell we might be onto something. The 13 inch 90 hertz display is still incredibly fragile, but there is a metal backplate here to increase the rigidity. And without any visible cracks, I think the display might have just survived. As far as the carbon fiber goes, I think we finally found it. It's back here in just the top half of the laptop. Lenovo's calling this material the second gen WebCore 2.0. which takes a 20 step bonding process and eight hours of high heat baking to manufacture. Aesthetically, it looks like a unidirectional non-woven carbon fiber, which does provide the lightness and stiffness the laptop needs, even if it's not the aesthetic weave we normally see on vehicles or where carbon fiber components are more visible. Carbon fiber is lighter than metal while providing similar strength and rigidity. However, I imagine we're only seeing carbon fiber on one half of the laptop because of the thermal conductivity. The screen side of the laptop needs the rigidness, but the bottom side needs to be able to dissipate heat generated by the components. And carbon fiber tends to be more of a thermal insulator, which is a good reason to not use it on the bottom portion of the laptop where all the heat is generated. It's a pretty cool setup, and fun seeing different technologies and processes come into play to create something unique. Fingers crossed it's still functioning when I put it back together, because I am rather attached to it now. With the ribbons back in place and a dollop of new thermal paste for the vapor chamber, I can get the fan reassembled and the battery put back into place. Laptops have come a long way. There's a lot of power here in a very small package. The metal magnesium panel gets slapped on the bottom again with a few screws keeping it tight. And I promise, I'm just as surprised as you are, the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7i Carbon is still alive intact and fully functioning, ready to get to work. I'll leave a link down in the video description if you're curious about the current pricing on Lenovo's new carbon laptop, and huge thanks again to Lenovo for sending this over. I'll make sure it gets put to good use here in the new shop. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, come hang out with me on Instagram if you're bored, and thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you around.